Hello my dear friends, welcome to Listen Out Electronic Channel, this is Uncle Misha and today as you see we have something from IKEA again. So uh, I have um, a little bit a problem. So always when I get to IKEA, always try to get into this as this section and always finding something a uh, on sale in SZ. So in this case this is Stromlinje LED panel. Always like some kind of LED panels because they uh, can be handy. And this time this is Stromlinje. Actually first time see this particular panel decided to grab one. It was actually quite many of these uh, on sale. Uh, I took bigger one and the smaller one was like seven dollars or something. So I think it's a pretty good price. So what we have? We have 38 centimeters uh, long panel. It, it produces 280 lumen of light that uh, consumes 5 watts. Doesn't really say much over here um, about like uh, voltage and something but if you look really nicely over here it says 24 volt 1.25 uh, amp. So this little guy requires a power supply from IKEA and interestingly it's not supplied. Because, you know, the story with IKEA things, they supply only, like in my other videos, they supply like a LED bar or a LED light, but no cables with it. And you're like, how do I wanna connect it? And this particular case, there is a little bit different story. It actually comes with the cable. And funny thing is, it says nothing here. It says excluding, a, I guess it's a, it's a power cord, excluding, I assume, which is a, a power brick, and the funny thing is, there is a cable, like, I don't know how to interpret that. There is a little cable, written, like, shown here. So, it sort of means that cable between power brick and between the uh, power, like, LED light, should not be included. But here we are, we have this. Yeah, I, I cannot understand them. I cannot understand them. Obviously, when maybe somewhere on the website it clearly says excluding power brick, including this and this and that, but judging by their pictures right here, it's still confusing. Nevertheless, let's take a look what is this and how um, how good is it. I'm interesting to get inside and poke around. Stay with me. Well, before we start poking around, probably we need to unbox it first, right? It's, it looks like it's brand new, no one used it, it's not like it's someone returns, right? So, that's actually good. We can just, can we? Yeah. We can just open it. Alright, just like that. Okay, some wire guides, I, I presume. Typical. Typical bunch of uh, screws and some other hardware. I, I assume this little little uh, Hardware are screw cups to cover these things, you know. Yeah, it's pretty nice <coughs> Woo. Yeah, it is pretty nice it has aluminium backing I assume this is the heatsink it has also 3m glue tape or or adhesive tape which is actually pretty cool Let's check quickly user manual. Oh, oh yeah, take a look. There are three of different kinds. I assume the uh, one I have is the middle one. It would be nice to get the big one. Um, yeah, obviously there is should like not going to be much of information. Maybe they're going to say... Aha, uh -huh. so cable is sort of included, right? Interesting why they mentioned that you cannot apply it on vertical surfaces, only on horizontal. Interesting. Remember I was MacGyvering this sort of cable? Yeah, here we are. Well, so actually I could have used that one. So, uh, By the way, this cable is very nice and it's very long. So if you want to wire something and it needs short cable, I would recommend cut it. Re, re, uh, like cut it on both ends and resolder it. And this cable is actually a really nice cable. We don't need manual, we don't need all this, and we don't need all this. So now it's probably gonna be challenge to get in because obviously we see no screws, are we? Yay, there are some screws! So I won't be able to show you, but screws are here. Let's take a screwdriver and start unscrewing. 
yeah, and they are unscrewing successfully. Are those guys chainable? Yes, they are chainable because there is uh, one port here and another right here, so you can actually chain a bunch of these guys. So obviously, obviously, you need different cable. You need cable which is gonna have two two of this kind on both ends. So this is another kind of funny story. Anyways. Okay, let's quickly unscrew that. It's good it's unscrewable, uh, because it looks like it's not gonna be even locked or anything. You have to unlatch anything, which is nice. Less, less hustle, less work. Mm-hmm, this side is... Oh, wow, it has actually light diffuser. Neat, that was easy. Yeah, this is just aluminium profile, nothing really special, uh, but obviously used as a heatsink. Look at that! You see this? Well done! Okay, where is the... Anything? It's just a bunch of resistors and a bunch of LEDs. Nothing else! Uh, yeah, and looks like this PCB is not, is, is like is a PCB right here on this um, acrylic strip. Oh, it's a bit melted here, by the way. Huh, Wh why? I never actually, it was sealed. This was sealed, unless, unless it's defected. Wow, this is cool. Let me zoom in for you to understand what I'm talking about. Okay, a little bit modification here. Okay, so here we are. So we, here is the one side. Here is the, uh, I guess, jumper, the zero ohm resistor. Uh, those are, those doesn't look like resistors. They look like a uh, diodes. But where is the constant current driver? So I guess that's assume. Wow, this is. Oh, I see. Yeah, look at this, how it's done. So those two strips, from here all the way to here, they just pass through. And probably um, the uh, this little, I don't know, met metalized, they actually, they are in, oh wow, this is Okay, sorry, I'm, okay, I just realized that they are inside of this acrylic thing. So, looks like this is some sort of resin. All this was actually constructed together and then was poured resin in because it's just inside. Those LED and diodes, I can't even measure anything because it's all inside. This is crazy. It's actually quite good. Like, I haven't seen anything like that. Now uh, I noticed this side is like melted, so I'm curious what's going on here. Technically those are supposed to be a resistors because if there is no like uh, current limiting anything, those resistors should be a current limiters. Let me turn on my power supply with let's say, I don't know, 100 milliamp current limit and see how that's gonna fly, 24 volt. Okay, so I have a cable here and this. I, I pulled this out because I want to understand how that's supposed to go. So yeah, this is gonna be key. So our connector is supposed to be going like that. Okay. And then I assume the marked one is positive right here. Okay. And let's see where the, the marked one goes. It goes to number two okay and here we are I actually proved myself being wrong so negative here is actually this one and clearly it has these lines which probably depicting negative so we have 24 volt 11 milliamp <laughs> actually this thing consumes at the moment 11 milliamp 19 volt so power supply current limiting all this jazz. Okay, so let's put it at 100. 
still gonna do this but not nah, much brighter let's go all the way so documentation says one point twenty five let's do one point twenty five one point three just you want to see if that's who's dying doing current limiting here if any actually it consumes at the moment 208 milliamps so yes those resistors probably doing current limiting so oh, oh, yeah, I mix it up uh, watts and amperes sorry guys yes 209 milliamp current limit is, is right now 1.3 amps so yeah it's actually less bright than I expected to be honest to be honest that's right less less bright but I like the the way they implemented it it seems like it's working pretty well here we are so it's very nice to see innards of uh, what the hell name of this thing Stromlinger like this name is like who come up with this oh cool this is 24 volt 209 milliamp and here we are it's obviously the same max 5 volts 210 milliamps so yeah this thing working as expected so question is what can you do with this actually this is really nice light technically technically you can bend it look so if you have curved surfaces either this way or that way that that's a hack for you like not many uh, LED bars well except those strips right you have like that so uh, but like the regular strips you can buy like in, in Amazon or Alibaba or eBay and yada yada but this is something very special so together with this strip yeah okay so you can actually come up with some sort of interesting light solution I already see some kind of cool a uh, desktop light with the with the bent like shape like this the only thing is I don't know if these traces right here what they made of in the if and um, when they would be like under stress because you see what's happening essentially here that when you bending this material like this it's essentially causing the stress on these guys so maybe it's better to actually bend them this way because at least it's not gonna so you know what's happening right so if you're bending like this this getting shorter this getting longer and essentially it's gonna rip something if it's longer so if you bend this way so you may damage all these uh, conductors right here so this is something to keep in mind maybe like slight angle would be fine but eventually you may develop some kind of cracks because obviously those traces are not made of rubber right so they they won't be able to properly uh, <clears throat> like flex and uh, still continue conducting because this is solid chunk right if that's going to be flat just ribbon uh, uh, ribbon cable glued to something or you know uh, in, in some kind of different material that will be fine but this is like one piece of three millimeter thick kind of resin of a sort so that may end up being cracking but they're still gonna do some kind of experiments yeah because this is actually looking pretty neat i like this idea obviously now it's collected lots of dust and grime from everywhere so i think that's gonna be it if i come up with some kind of cool idea i will share with you but so far this is it we took apart stromlinje a LED bar from IKEA and I think we actually discovered something pretty cool today well guys thank you for watching see you next time stay tuned for more videos like that please like and subscribe take care and ciao and here is bonus video how does it look like all assembled together uh, would you collaborate here we are pretty bright and yes you see individual LEDs here nice